Hi there, this is Ryan Malloy here at the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. In this video, we're going to discuss how to get x by itself in a division problem. Suppose that you're given x divided by 16 plus 1 equals 5. First, what you want to do is bring over the constants all to one side of the equation. You could do that by subtracting 1 from both sides. Now from here, we can isolate x by simply multiplying both sides of the equation by 16. The left side just becomes x, since these two 16's cancel. And the right side is just 4 times 16, which is 64. But suppose that you're given a slightly different configuration. What if it's 16 divided by x minus 1 equals 5? What can we do here? Well, again, let's bring over all of the constants to one side of the equation. We'll do that by adding 1. So we get 16 divided by x equals 6. Now here, we can multiply both sides of the equation by x. But in doing so, we're assuming that x is not equal to 0. If x were equal to 0, this expression would be undefined. And then multiplying both sides by x would no longer make this a true. So assuming x is not equal to 0, we can get 16 equals 6x. Now from here, we can simply divide both sides of the equation by 6. Get 16 over 6 equals x. And if you want, you can simplify that a little bit further by dividing both the top and bottom by 2, and we get 8 thirds. That's all there is to it. My name is Brian Malloy, and we've just discussed how to get x by itself in a division problem.